welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about 10 things that I've thrifted and I have not ended up wearing. So they're all here, including what I'm wearing right now. Because in the perfect world, where anything we buy, we're going to use all the time until it falls apart and then we bin it. But unfortunately, even though we buy secondhand clothes from the thrift store, we're going to end up with stuff that we just don't wear or we're going to be end up back at the thrift store. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you 10 things that just didn't end up coming out of my wardrobe. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is this top. Great, great quality, but there's this long zipper here on the side and whenever it tucks in, what it does is it just sticks block sticks out like that. Kind of reminds me of like a tent. You know those uh, metal poles that stick out? Kind of like that. It just doesn't look good, you know? And and gets so uncomfortable as well because it's, uh, it's digging into my skin. So that's the reason why I didn't end up, end up wearing it. Okay, next item is this skirt. Far out. I haven't eaten breakfast today and I'm struggling to breathe in this skirt. So you get the idea. So another piece of item that is ending up in the wardrobe. Okay, third item is another skirt and this one I just can't walk. Like imagine, you know, I'm just waddling. Far out. I don't know why the hell I bought this. So, that's another one that's useless for me. So, next piece of junk is these pants here by Marks. I mean, it's good quality, but, and it fits. It's just, it's so hard for me to match this with anything. I like, I don't know uh, what to match this with shoes or a top. So, that's end up in the, in the junk. And next item is this. Pale green jacket, denim jacket. Again, I just find it so hard to match this. You know, I don't know what I'm thinking when I buy stuff. Uh, I'm supposed to, before you buy stuff, you're supposed to see how it's going to fit in your wardrobe. Well, easier said than done. So this is another item that I just, it just doesn't go in my wardrobe. So it just goes into the back of the wardrobe. All right, so you're still with me? i still got some more to go. So. Next is this jacket, tweed jacket. Just, you know, I thought I was going to be as sophisticated as Anna Wintour in this, but no, that didn't happen. So it's great quality, it's by Marks, but I just, I just don't look that great in it. Alright, so that's going in that dump over there. Next one. Alright, so this is actually a really good quality jacket. It's a crop leather jacket. But for some reason I thought this was uh, some unique brand. And it turns out it's by bloody Zara. I mean, I didn't... I usually don't buy fast fashion things from the thrift store. Uh, because they just... the quality is just not that great. I prefer the ones with uh, reputable brands. Um, so, unfortunately, that's not the only reason why I haven't, haven't worn it. It's just, it's cropped, and I didn't really think about the colour. It's actually got a sparkly tinge to it, and it just doesn't suit with, with my style. So that's what it looks like. I just don't know how to style this with this thing around my neck. It's great quality, but yeah, just no idea. No idea at all. Now this one's a cardigan. A knitted cardigan. Now, I follow all these uh, Parisian pages on Instagram and um, I just got inspired by their car obsession with cardigans. They always got one. So I thought, you know what? 
I'm gonna buy this vintage one and hopefully look like one of them perusing chicks. <laughs> yeah, well, that didn't fucking happen. I look like a blade granny. So. Alright, another one that's heading straight to the back of the wardrobe is this peplum top. And because the reason is. It just doesn't, I can't match it with anything apart from black and it's really uncomfortable around the waist part, surprisingly, because even though it's got two, another cover underneath, it's just, it's very tight and it's restrictive and, you know, well, you girls gotta eat and this just doesn't allow you to. Alright, we're nearly there. Just two more left. This is the a vintage Katie's top. I don't know, I thought I would look cool in a nice black, the feel of it's really nice, that's what got me. And also it was two bucks. But uh, again, it just just doesn't fit me, I look sloppy. I tried tucking it, you know, tucking this up, but it keeps falling down. So, uh, tucking everything in, pretty much, tucking this whole thing in anything, it just doesn't, doesn't look good. It just looks too big. And it's good for pyjamas. May I use that for pyjamas? Mm -hmm. But yeah, just don't be fooled by the price because you're going to end up with shit that you don't want and you're probably going to end up here on YouTube. Last but not least is this dress. Alright, so it actually looks really good on camera. Is that the satin feel? It's got pockets as well. But the thing is, I can't put my arms up. That's 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 like it's gonna rip right now, and also I can't like pick anything up either because otherwise it's gonna rip that far. So for some reason it's really restrictive on this part here. Um, yeah. So if you want a straight jacket, sure, but I can't breathe in this dress. So now I'm out of those. Thank God those clothes are so bloody uncomfortable. Uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully you realise that you know, even though you try to be sustainable by buying secondhand things, but it doesn't really change our behaviour. So if you're going to continue to buy shit that you end up not using, then it doesn't really do much, does it? So just wanted to raise that up and let you know, and. Likewise, if you got any comments at all, any any feedback, like, subscribe, do all that shit, make me famous, thank you, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.